Welcome to the final part of rebuilding a large Clarkson single cylinder vertical steam engine. This is part 30, my final thoughts on this engine. And what are my final thoughts on this engine? Well at least it now works. It still needs a couple of studs, but it actually runs in both directions. It's a little bit on the clunky side and slightly tight in places. as this will wear off in time after the engine's been run for a while. Everything on this engine was wrong when I first started work on it. And now to see it running is quite an achievement. And you can notch it back. I'd like to answer a query that I received on the last video. Some chap said, why do you have this little wheel? Obviously a lever's going to be much better. Well, yes it is, but on the full size it's often a little wheel. On a steam locomotive it's also often a little wheel, mounted on a large frame with an indicator. And the reason for this is that on a steam engine, in order for the engine to be more efficient, once the engine is running and has gathered momentum, you can turn this little hand wheel, which moves the expansion link towards reverse. If you move it too far, the engine of course will stop, but you just move it a little way back. This clip shows the engine running in the opposite direction. The expansion link is at the opposite end of the valve rod. And by reversing the wheel, as you can see, the expansion link is moving in the other direction. And once again, this is called notching up the engine and it uses less steam. It gets a little bit lumpy if you go too far, as I'm trying to illustrate here. You cannot make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. And I almost admit defeat in certain areas of this engine. But it really is impractical to take it any further. Really, I would have been better building an engine like this totally from scratch. It would have been a lot better. But that defeats the object of a rebuild. I really have done my best with this engine within the time I allocate to do it. And it runs okay, really. Since the last episode I fixed the crankshaft, I took the crankshaft off and had a look at it. I degreased all the parts and refitted them together with some Loctite 638. And then if you look carefully at the actual crankshaft stub end sticking out of the crank web, you will see that I drilled a hole exactly between the two, tapped this hole and fitted a grub screw. Now it is impossible for the crank web to rotate on the crankshaft. And before fitting the entire assembly, I re-drilled the flywheel to take some heavy duty grub screws because the flywheel was also spinning around the shaft. At the moment, the engine's making a slight knocking noise. This is nothing serious and should disappear with time as it runs in. In the previous video when I showed me using my finger to hold the valve gear in position, there was no knocking noise, so this should disappear as the valve gear beds in. I mentioned in the last episode about the valve maybe being faulty, but it wasn't, it was fine. Just my paranoia. This is a really good one. It's a double Stuart 5A. Two 5As combined into one engine. With a very ingenious coupling method. And unlike the Clarkson engine, this engine is very well made indeed. And that will make a change after the Clarkson. This is the coupling method, like a double chain. It's a commercial item, it's very good. It will make it simple to even out any mounting inaccuracies between the two engines. Each of the 5A engines is complete with its own water pump, so the plumbing should be interesting. I'm looking forward to this project. Also coming soon, very shortly, another interesting project. This is a steamboat, but it's unusual in as much as it's not glass fibre and it's not wood. It's made from steel, steel plates soldered together over a former. It's been stood around for quite a few years, it is very old, and my job is to fit a complete new Stuart Double 10 V steam plant to it. Currently the boiler is under construction by a friend of mine. This will be a very interesting project and I really do look forward to this because it's a very nice old boat. Back for the moment and finally to have a look at the Clarkson, which is running quite merrily on the bench. I'm trying to rotate it so you can get a good look, and you may have noticed I made an exhaust stub for it. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching, I hope you found it useful. <laughs>